This next tool in the advanced level rhythm guitar toolbox has to do a little more with a, a deeper kind of level concept. We've covered to this point the idea of how chords are built, um, uh, certain discussions with regards to voicings of some of these chords that we might play and, and also why we might choose one over the other potentially. Um, and so this is again a deeper level concept and one of the things I want to get out quickly is that as it is a concept, it's a concept to be applied. So if the purpose of this video is to kind of just explore and explain the concept. I'll give you little demonstrations of how these things sound, <clears throat> but the real application comes in you know, actual song usage where we discover a little more musical value to these things. Again, trial and error, exploring, experimenting, that's where we're headed with all this. But the basic concept here is that when we are in a key center, say the key of G, as we've said to this point all through the curriculum, the major scale of that key center, so the G major scale, that major scale becomes the primary informant of most everything that I'm ever going to need in any of these songs that we play. Again, there's going to be variations along the way, and we'll get into some of that. But the point is, is that that major scale as that primary informant shows me the sort of musical building blocks. Everything I need in that song for the melody and the chords uh, for that song. So generally speaking, in bluegrass, we're going to have these, you know, say a three chord song that uses in the key of G, the one, four, and the five. But when we apply this awareness of the major scale, and here's the concept, here's the, here's the tool, is that every note of that major scale, of that given key center, not just G, but any, anything, uh, any one of those notes in the scale, any of those degrees can represent a chord. And so that's, that's the tool. Um, and exploring, experimenting with this uh, is really useful <clears throat> in creating a little more musical depth. You know, we talk about walking bass runs you know, from G to C. Every one of those notes, because they're in the scale, can be represented with a chord. And that's a really powerful tool, especially at this advanced level, when we're really integrating with the song a little more, being, uh, being a little more reactive to things like the vibe of the song. And, and again, thinking about why we would choose one of these uh, one of these options over, over another. So again, applying in, in lots of different contexts is going to help, help you understand this a little more. But again, in, in, the, uh, uh, in, in the interest of just kind of getting the concept out there, let me demonstrate. Okay, we're in the key of G. A major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So you may want to write this down. But, so so here's, the, uh, here's the idea. One is the one major because that's our key center, G major. The two is always going to be a two minor, so A minor. The three is going to be a three minor, so a B minor chord, which is something we haven't really looked at yet, but very valuable. So one, two, three, four major, five major, a six minor, or E minor in this case. Then when we get to the seventh degree of the scale, the F sharp, it gets a little bit trickier. Technically speaking, if, you're, if you have studied music theory in your past, you're going to notice this as a, um, a minor seven flat five chord. For the purpose of connecting this back to bluegrass, when we get to the seventh degree, <clears throat> what we want to recognize is that it's the last degree of the scale leading us back to the one chord. And we use the seventh degree, but let's put the five chord on top. So again, we have one, two minor, three minor, four, five, six minor, and then a five over seven, and then a one. And the reason that works is because all the harmonies of each one of those chords, meaning when I go to A minor, the C, that, uh, uh, the, C the A, and the E that, that spell that A minor chord, again, those are all in the G major scale. When I go to the B minor, the F sharp, the B, the D, that's all in the G major scale. Same with all these. That could also be a, a 5 7 chord or a D7 chord. So a big point here is that, again, I'm showing you kind of one version of these chords. Maybe there are other, other ways to make these chords all up and down the fretboard. That's a good thing to recognize. Um, but this is the basic concept. One, two minor, three minor, four. 
five, six minor, and then five over seven back to the one. <clears throat> one more little demonstration here. Let's get out of the key of G and go to the key of D. So again, the same concept. One, two minor, three minor, four, three minor is an F sharp minor. We're going to look at a variation of that um, uh, next. There's the four major, five, ma uh, five major, six minor, and again the five over seven. It's a nice chord. Or it could be this. Back to the one. Okay. So again, the, the value that we want to uh, be aware of is how we can use these to help us transition from one chord to the next, not just with single notes, but with full, you know, rich chord uh, involvement in and, and a real kind of deeper harmonic kind of connection. Um, so we'll look at some variations next. Thank you.